All right, you're uh, back here on the program. So lovely to have uh, Amy Tan on the show. I don't know if you know this, but Amy's also, we talked a bit about it. Amy's in a rock and roll band. Uh, the Rock Bottom Remainders is what they're called. Uh, is her <laughs> Stephen King and Maya Angelou. Uh, what a show. <laughs> what a show. Uh, go to strombo.com and see a list of surprising other rock and rollers out there, my friends. Uh, and of course, with strombo.com, we endeavor to give you lots of information. We respect your privacy. Come on, we're not the government. Or do you know the Facebook stats? Facebook has revealed that in the last six months of 2012, they handed over the private data between 18,000 to 19,000 users to law enforcement. Facebook gave just under 20,000 people's information to the cops. Some of you got really nervous all of a sudden, because what if it was you? I want to get into privacy tonight on the panel. Look, we know they can. We know they can access this stuff. Your Ashley Bodings here, by the way. Welcome yes, to the program. Nice to see you. Yeah. Gilson Lubin's here, by the way. Tony Hinchcliffe's here, everybody. I was thinking about the NSA in the states, and we hear a lot about privacy. And it was a major uproar in America, major uproar in England when they found out that newspapers were hacking into people's phone messages. Do you care if uh, if if they're accessing your emails or your phones? Do you care, Ash? I'm not doing anything wrong, and so, you know, like, why would I care? Isn't that how society works? Like, yeah, yeah. you know, you shouldn't care about things you're not affected by. That's what they want you to say. <laughs> yeah. That's what they no, want I you really to say. No, I really wish I had a good reason to care. Like, I wish <laughs> I was part of some espionage ring or something, but it's just um, my mother calling me to tell me about my nephew's bowel movements, so that's that's all that's happening. Uh, more than once a day, that phone yeah, call? Yeah, he's doing pretty well, really yeah. regular. Thanks for asking. Yeah. What do you think, doesn't it? Me, I'm, I'm, my first thought is I'm more upset that they're not following me on Twitter. <laughs> Because that's why I post most of my goals, first yeah. off. First of all, one of those... And I can use the followers. Uh, Gilson Lubin, Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Either, yeah. No, no, it's just, yeah. Well, the idea is that, uh, listen, uh, we recognize that the joke you made off the top is true for many people. Like, well, if you've got nothing to hide, nothing to hide, then our security is worth it. And that's the deal. That's the argument that others would make. Do you feel OK knowing that some people are being monitored? I'm glad they're monitoring everybody, you know. I think uh, I think if you're going to invade privacy, invade all the way. I'm American. Invade privacy, invade Iraq, invade <laughs> Afghanistan, <laughs> invade it all. Invade the bedroom. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Just don't take away our guns. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. Do you think... They created the whole concept of Black Friday, not to get people to go shopping to get more stuff, it's just to get everybody on some closed circuit camera somewhere. And that was the reason. If we get every 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 citizen yeah. in the mall, right. that's how we know they are. <laughs> right. They seem to be okay with information being online. I want to find out what scares them of their own information online. We'll do that right after this. <laughs> Back here on the panel, we're talking about privacy, and uh, and as I understand that most people are fine with it, that we click those user agreements before we read them. We know that South Park did a wonderful episode about that. We know how important it is uh, to talk about privacy, but we do live in a generation that doesn't seem to care as much uh, as we used to. But everybody has the one thing they want to hide. So let's say you have someone staying over at your house, okay. Ashley. Yeah, yeah. You've left to go to work, uh -huh. and you realize you've left your computer open and unlocked. Right. Let's say that person wanted to go through your internet search history. Yes. Are you sweating? Yes, but only because <laughs> uh, <laughs> YouTube, I have this thing where I really like to YouTube old videos of Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston when they were happy. I don't know why. I don't know why. I think, I think I need to look into it, but if someone saw that, they'd be like, 16 hits, oh God, what is she doing with her time? The answer is that. A, because it was a simpler time. It Thank was when you, things were when, still good. Yes, when I believed that like, a cute little friend could land a guy like Brad. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Are you nervous? I, absolutely, I mean, like the music I listen to, I get made fun of enough. Like I don't need anybody to find out about the Celine Dion collection, you know what I mean? <laughs> Randy Travis, a bunch of stuff. Seriously, your heart will go on like Saturday night, two in the morning, that's you? There's a bunch of stuff I don't want Bill to know, and that's part of it that I shouldn't have said right here. Yes, yeah. right. They can check my phone calls, they can check my emails. I just don't want them to find out my Netflix history. <laughs> uh, because I have a reputation of being a tough, edgy comedian, but I am obsessed 
with the television show Downton Abbey. <laughs> all they do, all they do is drink tea and cry, and I can't get enough of it. <laughs> you and me crazy about it. So you're so you're good. embarrassed by that piece of information. Oh, I mean, especially since I make tea and sit there and cry watching. <laughs> well, speaking of Netflix, I'm embarrassed by how many times I've written to them asking for them to put the Cosby Show on. Oh. This is my life. I'm embarrassed how many times I've Googled my own name. <laughs> That's really honest. Oh, how many? Uh, I can't. I've lost track. <laughs> we'll have to ask the government. They the know. government yeah, will know. Exactly. <laughs> the only other thing I don't want the government knowing is that I've been reading Ashley's journal. <laughs> I want a hand for the panel, so everybody. <laughs> Ashley Body on Twitter at Ashley Body. It's right there. And check her out at Bondspiel, which is every Sunday in November at No One Writes to the Colonel, which is in Toronto. Gilson Lubin on Twitter at Gilson Lubin. He's known to make a joke or two. And Tony Hinchcliffe, he's on Twitter as well at Tony Hinchcliffe. Thanks for coming back, man. Good things, Canada.